Now that was a trailer, that was a kick-ass video, no pun intended, by my buddy Nick Siriano for the new release of the Super Knock V2 edition, the Batman version. Now the decks are released right now on houseofplayingcards.com, so pause that video right now, head over to the site, grab yourself some decks, and come back and let's get into the tutorial. All right, what do we got for the release of the new Super Knock? So these are the Super Knox V2 edition, if you remember the first ones were the Superman one. This one is inspired obviously by the old Batman comics and the Batman colors and everything that is, you know, like the old Adam West one. I love, I love watching those old videos uh, with him and Robin. It's just a good time. It's a feel good time. So this is what the deck is trying to encompass and feeling. And what everybody has been waiting for this, my friends, is the Dark Knock deck. Now the Dark Knock playing cards are inspired by I mean, obviously, you get the, the pun intended by this name. This actually, this tuck right here, is actually the same tuck that we used for the Knox of Steel, but we coated it with black so it has that shiny gunmetal feel to it. It's got a yellow seal right here for the Batman colors, and we're actually gonna open up this deck right now, take a look inside, and then learn something that we can do with the gap cards that are found in both this deck and the Super Knock V2s. Let's go. So a really quick rundown on the V2 edition. It's got Super Knock right there. This is uh, number two. Number one was the Superman inspired one. May 1939 commemorates what? Comment down below if you know what that is. 52 pages of action and of course inside of the box we have the all amazing playing cards. Now I went with this vibe because this is just something that you would want to carry around with you day to day. It matches everything that you wear. It's a perfect vibe, especially for the winter season coming up. And I've always wanted a just a great deck of cards and that black border makes it look kick ass. And they come with two really cool ad cards and we'll learn to do something with them soon. Now for the Dark Knock deck. Let's crack these babies open and see what we got inside. Ugh. There's nothing better than opening up a new deck of cards than smelling it and people look at you all weird. <sighs> all right, the Dark Knock deck. Now the back design is not black. It's a sort of darker gray gunmetal shiny feel to it. So if you know like the Knox of Steel, we're going on the same vibe, but I really wanted to mimic the Dark Knight's suit uh, and it, it wasn't totally just the plain black. It was more of a shiny sort of dark chrome feel. And the borders are yellow, so you could get that nice Batman color black and yellow. Now this is a limited deck, so usually limited decks on the site uh, sell out between 24 hours and 48 hours. So you only have a few days to pick these up because then afterwards you're just gonna send me messages on Instagram that you want them and I'm not gonna have them. So if you haven't already, go pause this video, go on House of Playing Cards, grab some decks and then come back and let's get into the tutorial. So a few effects that I do with the gaff cards in this deck. Uh, the first one is a printing effect. The pattern would be you bring out this playing card and you say this is actually a secret playing card given to me by the factory that prints playing cards. Now I print playing cards myself so they gave me this and what this new technology is a special material this technology is used for is to print cards when you have a deck and maybe a card is missing this one actually prints card now the technology is not fully fledged out yet but I'll show you how it works so let's say you pick a card so go ahead just touch a card and they touch a card let's say it's that one remember what it is and then keep it in your pocket or somewhere away from the deck now if I take the blank card and I place it into the middle of the deck it's going to get a sense of what's missing and if we just wait and take our time I think it's done and now if I go through, the blank card has actually printed the missing card, and that should be your card, Ace of Hearts. And they take a look, and it matches, and then everybody freaks out, so there you go. The setup for this one is as follows, black ace on top, followed by the regular ace, and this blank one is going to be in your pocket or somewhere that you're gonna bring in. Uh, then you talk about how this is a you know secret card that hasn't been released on the market, whatever your pattern may be, and you're going to force the Ace of Hearts. So I could use a classic force at this point to force it on uh, to the camera in this case, or a riffle force, hold a break, just say stop, stop, Boom, so you're forcing this card, and now you take it away from the deck, and this Ace of Hearts now is going to be in the center of the deck. Boom, easy. 
So from here, you're going to use the blank card to make it look like you're placing it into the middle of the deck. I use either a tilt, okay? So one of my other videos, I'll link that down below. You can learn the tilt so it looks like it goes in the middle of the deck, but in fact, it's second from top. You can do a diagonal palm shift so it looks like it goes into the middle, but in fact, you're just stealing it out. You can do one of these that I taught on the channel before where you push it in like that and it looks like it, but you're just palming it right back out. So a lot of things that you can do it to make it look like the card is going in the middle and in fact the card in the middle is the red as the black ace of hearts and then it's all about just the reveal of it place it in the spectator's hands uh, and then say look the card has printed into your card. For the second effect, it's a nice sort of quick visual one. You take the blank card, you place it off to the side, you're gonna force the Ace of Hearts uh, with this one as a setup like that. Now you're gonna force the Ace of Hearts and you say, look, I'm gonna use it, and the blank card is actually gonna be able to print any card that you chose. So what card did you choose? Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, perfect. Watch the Ace of Hearts and watch the blank card. It's going to actually merge into one black inverted ace of hearts and you could check that all out and then they freak out and they run away crying and screaming that's usually what happens so i like the visual of this and uh, thanks to my buddy harapon for coming up with this sort of movement the only thing really that you have to know for this is you're forcing the ace of hearts just like we did last time you're grabbing this card and you're getting a break under the inverted ace so you're grabbing this like this and all you're doing is that sandwich move so if you know the sandwich move to get into a sandwich is like that. So you're gonna do the exact same thing. Grab the ace off of them, get a break under the two cards, place it on top and the thumb takes it off this way. Um, so now you're gonna have these two cards back to back and then I transfer it into this position and you're just gonna slap this on top of that or place the ace of hearts here, grab a break so that the ace of hearts and the inverted one are back to back, and grab this one and place it here, grabbing the ace and slapping this on there. So it really doesn't matter. For me, I kind of feel like Maybe that's a nicer visual by taking the ace into the right hand, but either or, it really doesn't matter. It's just gonna be up to you on what visual you wanna do. Do you wanna take the blank uh, card and then place it on here, or do you wanna take the ace and slap it on? And all you're doing is you're just sort of palming it visually, right? You're palming it, make sure that you don't get the flash. So that's why I kinda just hold it here. And then I'm just gonna come and I'm gonna turn it over and slap it on top. And what's nice is that now you can push over a single card and give it to them to check, okay? So that is the second visual sort of trick. All right, for the last one is a printing effect as well, just a different sort of structure. Um, you force the Ace of Hearts and then control it to the top. Make pretend you didn't know that. So I'm gonna use now the blank card to print your card uh, slowly on this special paper. This is special material that prints Card. So if I just shake like that, you could actually get the Ace of Hearts to print. Was that your card? Yes. Uh, but it's not your real card, it's just a carbon copy. If you take the card now, and if you shake it, then you'll get the Ace of Hearts printed and ready to go. So for this one, a similar setup. In fact, it's the same exact setup. This is off to the side. This one is second from top. You're gonna force the Ace of Hearts and then control it back up to the top so that you're still in this setup. Yes? Good, now you're gonna take this card and you're gonna get a break under two cards. Place this card on top and do any sort of color change that mimics this. So you can do a shape shifter change, boom. You can do the shake like this by just twirling like this. Um, you can do one of these, really doesn't matter. But I like the visual of the black over here and just with a shake. You get that. Now you have this setup over here, right? So what you're gonna do is place it back down and only drop one card, right, with the thumb. I'm just dropping one card so now I have a double setup. Now with here, I can turn this over, push off one, switching it for this, give it to them in their hand. At this point, it's all done. They just have to shake it and they get their card printed. And so now the black one changes to the white one. And it's a nice visual. Uh, they get a few startling moments on that effect. 
All right, guys, there you have it. That was the video. Those were the cards. Go ahead, pick some up. Use the coupon code. Enjoy them. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it'll mean so much to me if you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Be creative with these effects. I do these gaff cards inside of these decks for a reason, not only for certain effects that could be done with it that I come up with and share with you guys on here, but also to use your imagination and say, hey, what else can I do with these gaff cards? And then also take what I do here and see how you can implement it to a regular deck so you don't necessarily need these cards for him. For example, the slap one where you combine the two cards, uh, imagine doing it with like an ace of hearts and a two of hearts and then it combines to a three of hearts, right? So that sort of thinking will get you creative and get you better at coming up with things um, and using things that you know and then implementing them into other things and it'll make your magic so much better in my opinion. So my job here is done. I'm gonna go jump in that water because it's looking at this whole tutorial. I was just looking out, look where I am by the way just so you could sort of see and understand this tutorial. It was very hard to shoot because I'm literally right here. So I'm gonna go jump in this water and enjoy my day. And I hope that you guys do as well. Thank you so much for sticking around and we will see you in the next video. Peace.